loss of law of law of conservation of energy law of conservation of energy law of conservation of energy okay this is also very very important okay law of conservation of energy okay this you will get this is two marks definition okay already i said previous class one more time i am repeating so what is the law of conservation of energy so the energy is neither created nor destroyed it is changing from one form to another form the entire universe energy total is constant or else one week one more definition also is there the law of conservation of energy means we cannot create the energy we cannot destroy the energy energy changing from one form to another form so the entire universe the energy is constant that what you are calling law of conservation of energy okay there are many um, energies will be exist that we will discuss the in the last class okay nuclear energy is there heat energy is there and then electric energy is there there are different different types of energies are there so already i you know the very well the conservation means we cannot create the energy we cannot destroy the energy it is changing from one form to another form so now so the laws of conservation of energy now i am going to apply the freely falling body law of conservation of energy for freely falling body freely falling body okay the freely falling body means so first you have to consider the uh, you have to consider one object okay let us take this is one object okay like this one object is there so it is it mass as m okay so it is initially it is uh, where it is actually it is at uh, v is equal to zero so not uh, there is no uh, final velocity only will be what will be there only you will be there so see what happened this is now i think this is the ground freely falling body okay so i am having one object that has mass m that has initial velocity then only it will coming to the ground so it is also has um, final velocity that is how much you know, it is at the rest position okay after some time what happen it is coming to the down okay now i am observing uh, the um, nature of this object at a different different first i am thinking at the a position next i am observing between here this i am thinking b at the b what is this mass next i am i am applying i am observing at the ground what is this this is also m okay at the a point at the b point next at the c point okay this many cases are exist so here v is equal to zero then here v is equal to how much v1 v is equal to how much here v2 like that you can consider and so now we have to apply the both here potential energy and kinetic energy apply so then from that what we can see no, from the uh, at the a point we have to calculate the total energy next to b point also we have to calculate the total energy next at the c point also we have to calculate the total energy so from this point to this point i am thinking okay from my object is at initially at at the a point first one first case case one case one at a point at a point this is what i mean at this point uh, how many uh, energies will be exist definitely there will be two uh, two energies will be exist one is p p means potential energy what is the formula mg h okay next what is the ke of m v square so here what happened ke is there so now actually it, it was it is at the a point is there any velocity at this moment zero is there then what happened here ke is equal 1 by 2 m zero square means what happened zero then k how much zero then total energy total energy is equal what you can write p e plus next k e then total energy what happened p how much is there m g 
H. K how much is there? Zero. Then total energy? Mg H. This is about that total energy. Okay. At this point, uh, M mass is there. Okay. The from year to year, I am thinking this is total distance or displacement. That uh, we can take. That is the total capital H we can take year to year. But year to year, I am observing in between also what is the position, how much is they are acquiring kinetic energy, how much it is acquiring the potential energy. That also I am considering this distance. After traveling the after traveling from A point to B point, how long it travel? It travel x directions. Then year to year, how much? H minus or x minus h or h minus h. Okay, what we can take h minus h. Sorry, x minus h. Why? Because the total distance minus this we can take that is so now h minus h minus x or uh, h minus x only h minus x that we are going to see from the diagram so now at which point first point is at a point is over next to which point is uh, remaining at b point next case case 2 at the at b point at B point at B point so where is B point at this here it is the B point okay here how many cases are there again potential energy what is the formula mg h next okay h is equal to how much is there how much distance is travel x then what happen here p is equal to mg x okay next k is equal to what happened? 1 by 2 mv square. h is equal to how much here actually? No, h is equal to how much is travel? x distance only. Okay, we'll see. Okay, k is equal to 1 by 2 mv square. But v square minus u square is equal to how much is there? 2as. So, what happened here? u already automatically 0. Then this is 0. 2a. a means how much is there? a. G S means how much is there? H or X? Mm. S is equal to how much? H minus X. Next. Can I substitute V square is equal to 2G H minus X here? Then what I mean? K is equal to of M V square. Then of M V square is equal to how much? 2G h minus x 2 to gets cancelled then what is the remaining mg h minus x this which is equal to k is equal to okay now what i have to calculate next now i have to calculate the total energy total energy what is the total energy formula then potential energy plus next kinetic energy okay potential energy how much is there mg x next k how much is there mg h minus x then next mg x plus next mg h next mg x okay which term get, gets cancelled mg x and next mg x then what is the remaining mg h this is what total energy at which point this is at the B point next to or else case one at A point case two at B point next case three I am considering case three at C point at C point okay what is at the at the C point what is that mm. what what I mean potential energy potential energy what is the formula M G H so at the c point h is equal to how much here nothing but h equal to zero only mm. h is equal to zero and i should have okay next here k is equal to how much is there k is equal to what is the formula 1 by 2 m v square 1 by 2 m v square okay again we are having the formula v square minus u square is equal to 2as v square is equal to how much is there 2g uh, s is equal to how much h 
एच वन ही ना नो टू ये आह एस एस इज़ इक्वल टू हाउ मच टोटल आईट देन ये रो हाउ मच इज़ दैट दैट इज़ टू जी एच ओके देन व्हाट आई बन एच इज़ इक्वल टू जीरो हम्म एट दिस पॉइंट एम पी जी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी विल बी देयर दिस ऑटोमेटिकली व्हाट आई बन देन के इज़ इक्वल GH will be there. See what happened here. H is equal to how much? Then this is zero. Then what happened here? This will be zero. Next, this is one by two. From the diagram, two one by two m g h. So what happened here? Two two gets cancelled. Then which is remaining? M g h. Okay, this is which equal to K equal to. So what happened total energy formula? P E plus K E. This is the total energy. Okay. Now how much that P is equal to zero? K is equal to how much? M G H. Then total energy how much? M G H. This is the total energy at which point? Okay. From the equation one. So this is equation number one. Next, this is equation number two. Next, this is equation number three. Okay. If you observe carefully, if you observe carefully, equation one, two, and three, then what we can say at the every moment the energy is conserved. So what is the conclusion? The law of conservation of energy for freeing body, freely falling body. See the energy is conserved from the equation one, two, and three. So what happened? Energy is every moment at the A point energy, at the B point energy, at the C point energy. In the all cases, you are getting the same energy. Then what we can conclude? Okay, the energy is the conserved or energy is constant. That's why we can say entire universe the energy will be constant. Okay, in this way we can prove. Freely boiling means we are getting everywhere constant. Energy.